The new PlayStation Plus is now out in the UK and the rest of Europe. But before I explain what each of the new tiers do, I'm going to save you some time. What you want to do is get the middle of the road tier, go into game catalogue, scroll down until you get to about the middle, and then you will see... Ball and Wonderworld! And what, what more do you want? You can get it on PS5! It will be enhanced that way! Also, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can find Bubsy! Yes! Okay, no, joking aside, huge thank you to PlayStation for giving me a copy of the premium version of PlayStation Plus. So, Essential is basically what it was before, so if you're going for a 12-month subscription plan, it is £50 a year, uh, and you get all these wonderful things just as before. Nothing has changed at all, you're still getting... Um, the PlayStation Plus Collection, which is top PlayStation 4 games, um, and, you know, a uh, bunch of games free per month. Then in Extra, that is £84 a year, and you are getting the PlayStation Plus Game Catalogue, which is here. This massive array of awesome games. And, like, I mean, just look at the first two rows, you know, you've got some really good, oh, first three, three, four rows, you know, you got some awesome games. Batman Marvel's Morales, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Demon's Souls, PS5 game, Ghost of Tsushima, and this is uh, the uh, Director's Cut Edition, Returnal, play with Spider-Man, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2, Mortal Kombat, Death Stranding, Horizon, God of War, etc, etc. There's so much to go through. Hollow Knight, absolute masterpiece. Celeste is down here somewhere. Um, but I also want to show you Gravity Rush 2. Now, this is a game that's near and dear to my heart. Gra Gravity Rush 1 is also here as part of the uh, premium version of PlayStation Plus. But if you don't want to go for premium, you just want to go for extra, you don't need to have played the first Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush 2 works on its own merits. Yeah, there are a little st couple of story beats here and there that you may not understand. But otherwise, seriously, I can't recommend this game enough. It is an absolute goldmine treasure and not enough people were playing it, and it's just awesome. You'll love it, I guarantee it. Um, so yeah, but no, just, you look through the list, there's just a ton of amazing games here. And you know, that's pretty cool. So yeah, you can go for one month subscription at £11, three months at £32, or 12 months at a £4, and there's a lot of cool stuff here. If you go for the premium, you get cloud streaming, classics catalog, and game trials. Now game trials, basically, um, there are some games where you get trials. I think it's a two-hour trial uh, for each, and I don't know if that means menus as well, or if it's just when you're playing. But yeah, basically, you get a two-hour timer, and you get to try it. And you know, Horizon Forbidden West, the new Horizon game, is there. Cyberpunk is there. You know, there's some really great games here. Uh, some of them could be, you know, argued. But hey, there's some really great games here. Hot Wheels Unleashed is awesome. So no, yeah, it's uh, you ch check it out if you want to give it a go. But I think the reason you want to go premium is the classics catalogue. Now, as I said, for the extra version, that's £84 a year. Premium is £99.99 a year, so £100 a year, basically. Um, so it's, it's £16 more pounds for the classics catalogue. And it's pretty cool. Uh, so the cloud streaming is basically PS3. You can also do it with PS1 games as well, uh, but it's mainly for PS3. PS3 cannot be downloaded, it can only be streamed, which honestly is a bit of a bummer, but that's just the way it is. Now I'm going to filter these by alphabetical order. The first thing you'll notice is Ape Escape 1 and 2. Ape Escape is a true gem, and it is so cool that it is here. It is such a delight. Uh, the Atelier games, I've never played them, but I've heard amazing things. They are really cool. Uh, the Batman Arkham games, obviously, rena renowned for just being amazing. Bioshock, uh, you know, uh, generally, like, Borderlands. Uh, Disney games typically are really good. Castlevania games, the Dark Cloud series, Darksiders, you know, there's some really good, but, like, generally, the... The Disney games, mm, but like Disney games are typically pretty good from what I've heard, um, especially, and I've already downloaded this, Toy Story 2. This is, and I'm not actually joking, this genuinely, if you haven't heard, one of the greatest 3D platformers of all time. It is a phenomenal 3D collector on platformer. I urge you to, if you've got this system, go and download it immediately and try it. It is awesome. But yeah, you can just scroll down the list and there's like stuff, you know, everybody's golf. There's just gravity of the first gravity rush if you want that heavy rain, hotline Miami. Um, the uh, the Jack and Daxter series, which is really cool, Jack. Uh, one, two, add X. Why is three not there? I was looking earlier and three was there. I don't know why it's not now. Oh, okay. Um, 
Uh, Jumping Flash. This is pretty much the first ever 3D platformer, and it's pretty cool. Like, I, I only played it recently through a demo, and yeah, it's nice. Uh, loads of Lego games. Um, I really recommend Parts of the Caribbean. Actually, it's a really good game. Uh, the Loco Roco games. Uh, Motor Storm Apocalypse and RC are really great. Um, so, yeah, I can recommend those. I mean, obviously, if you're... Oh, Puppeteer! Puppeteer! Okay, so PS3 can only be streamed. Puppeteer is one of the most underrated games of all time. If you want to get into making games, I urge you to play this and be inspired by it, because it, it is an amazing creative 2D platformer. Really, really cool. Uh, Ratu is... A, I haven't played it. Apparently amazing. Uh, original Red Dead Redemption. Ratchet & Clank is not a complete series here. It's a bit of a shame. It's only got... um. Uh, Kraken Time, uh, Nexus, and Q-Force, uh, so it is missing quite a lot, which is a shame, but there's not really much you can do about that. Um, Resident Evil, and, you know, the, the tech and the list goes on, you know, there's just some really, really great games here. Um, and I, I, I'll go back to uh, Wipeout Mega Collection, really, really, really great. Um, so yeah, just uh, just looking around, oh, also Tron uh, Evolution is apparently really cool. Uh, so yeah, just like, looking through this, it's really, really cool to see what's here. And I'm going to briefly go into Toy Story 2 and show you just something pretty neat. So here we are in Toy Story 2. And yeah, it looks pretty great, it runs pretty great. It's, it's just, it's really cool to be able to play. Toy Story 2 on the PS5. What a what a weird thing I didn't think I'd be seeing. Uh, but what I like is if I if I go into press start, um, you can rewind if you want. So I can go straight back. Yeah, I'll rewind. Sure, why not? I'll just go back there. And can I go forward? No, I cannot. Rewinding like locks you back. You're back to the beginning. But you can go quite far back. Like this this took a while to get to this because the menus are quite long at the beginning of this game. So like that's that's pretty cool but you can go that far. Uh, what I also love, you can save and load as well, so you basically got save states. But if you go to settings, um, you can change the uh, the controls and the visual presets. Um, so you got default retro classic uh, and modern. So if I go to retro classic, um, you got a little like CRT thing which is pretty cool. I like that. That's uh, that's quite nice. I'm gonna turn it off but um, default is, I presume, just generally normal, or you can, uh, go to modern, I, I'll see if there's, like, a noticeable difference. Yeah, I guess it looks a little nicer. Um, but what I, what I love, so you've got, in, in video, you've got, uh, these settings, so you can, you can go to wide zoom, so if you want to, if you prefer to have it stretched, you can, it doesn't really make a huge deal, I don't really mind either way. Um, uh, square pixels, so you can... Uh, have it like this, and it is incredibly awkward. I don't know why you would want that, um, but I mean, you you might you might also want one to one. Um, you know, this this really thin thing. Um, uh, the the typical like uh, like one you you'll probably want is four by three, six, 16 by nine. I had it on sixteen by ten. It's slightly wider, um, but what I as you, as you can see here. Uh, but what I really love is. <laughs> This native resolution. I, I can't see. It's so small. I love it. It's so stupid. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if you want that, you can absolutely have it. I'm going to immediately change that back. Uh, because, no. Um, but, yeah. No, it, it's a really cool service. I, I like what it's doing. Um, it's got, it's certainly not perfect, like the PS3 streaming, it would be cool if you could download them eventually. Um, I know that the PS3 is just finicky hardware as it is, so that's fair enough. Uh, but hopefully one day, and uh, we, we don't know how they're going to be updating uh, in terms of like what games are coming to it. I'm hoping they are extremely regular, so every single month they're like, hey, so you know you, you get these three games, like normal, normal PS Plus, well, uh... You know the premium, uh, or the yeah, the premium selection gets uh, these extra games, and I mean like they've got such a catalogue, so they're doing PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP. And I don't, I don't think they're doing Vita, but I might be wrong. They they've also got PS4, but there's a lot of PS4 games as it is. Um, I don't know if there's any like that they'll add to that specifically, but yeah, in terms of like PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP, they could do just two per system a month, and that would be loads. That'd be loads of games. Um, like, that's eight games a month that you'd be getting, which would be amazing if that was how they did it. I don't know how they're going to do it, um, but, you know, it just, it'd be really cool either way. So, well, we'll see how it updates. We'll see how it fares, but uh, so far, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. 
Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows. And yeah, there's just there's just a ton of great games. There's, yeah, as I say, like there's all the ones that I mentioned specifically, but like there's also just a ton that I didn't. There's, there's so many great games, like the Final Fantasy games. There's it's not the whole catalog or anything, but there's a bunch of them. Um, you know, Final Fantasy VII's there if you want to play the original. I think Final Fantasy IX, Final Fantasy X was there. Um, so yeah, there's just there's a lot of really great stuff on the PlayStation Plus uh, store. Have a look through them. See if there's something you're like, oh yeah, I definitely want to get it for this or that or whatever. Uh, just 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 have a little have a little gander. And uh, whilst this game may not have trophies, uh, hopefully that will change in the future. Um, this is this is not a Sony licensed game, so. Uh, they got it on the system, but they haven't got trophies. Uh, but stuff like Ape Escape does, which is really cool. You know, like, I, I wanted to play Ape Escape again because it's Ape Escape. Ape Escape is a classic that everyone should play. But the fact that it's got trophies makes it even more valuable as a, as a game. And, you know, like, we hopefully will end up seeing stuff like the original Crash and Spyro games. You know, like, I understand that they may not want to do that on the basis that there's the remasters. But, the re like, having the original games doesn't detract from the remasters. They're... they're good for for different reasons so yeah hopefully uh hopefully this was a fun little video and uh if you want to pick it up go check it out yourself it's uh, updated it's available now i think in the entire world and we were the last to get it i think there might be some countries that don't but generally speaking everywhere's got it um so yeah if you uh if you want to check it out go check it out and hopefully Within the next year, it's going to just get better and better and better and better. And I can't wait to see it grow. That is a disappointing end. <laughs>